Wednesday. I can't get over where it's made. This is killing me. Oh, God, this is not good. A new Amazing Race, Wednesday after Survivor on CBS. That makes each of us different also makes us amazing. Reindeer in here, premiering November 29th on CBS. The pain would like shoot up my heels. I would tiptoe out of bed because my heels hurt so badly. When I went to the Good Feet store, I had a free consultation, free fittings. They allowed me to try on the arch supports. I walked around. And I started sobbing because I had no pain. There were no gimmicks. It's just try them on. If it doesn't work for you, then don't buy them. See if they work for you with a free fitting and test walk at the Good Feet store. We have breaking news at noon. A serious crash in McGoffin County today involving a school bus. Two students and the bus driver airlifted to the hospital. We are live with the breaking details. Also on WKYT, the Somerset community is remembering longtime high school football coach Robbie Lucas. And students and staff in Fayette County are supporting each other today following the death of a student. With breaking news happening now, this is WKYT News. And we continue to follow that breaking news in eastern Kentucky. 18 students and the bus driver were on board when a McGoffin County school bus crashed. This is a live look from the scene right now. Authorities say that bus went over an embankment on Route 40 near Mine Fork Road. Everyone on board was taken to the hospital. Good afternoon, I'm Victor Puente. And I'm Kristen Kennedy. We know that three people were airlifted out, two students and the bus driver. WKYT Samantha Valentino is live on the scene for us with those breaking details. Samantha? Victor and Kristen, just behind me, Kentucky State Police are investigating a scene where a McGoffin County school bus is currently sitting in a ravine here on Route 40 near Salyersville. McGoffin County Judge Executive Matthew Wireman told us that there were 18 students on the bus along with the driver. He says that all of them have been transported to hospitals, either by helicopter, ambulance, or by their parents that met them here at the scene. Three people were airlifted from this scene, one being the bus driver and the two others being students. The driver is in critical condition and four or five students, we're told, are in serious to critical condition. At this time, there is no word on what caused this accident, but Kentucky State Police say this road will likely be closed for at least four hours while they investigate. And the Salyersville Fire Chief tells us that this was this school bus's normal route. However, we have not yet been able to confirm which school this bus was heading to, and we're expecting Expecting to hear more from the McGoffin County Superintendent and the Judge Executive coming up a little bit later at 1.30 in a press conference. And of course, we will continue to update you as we know more, both on air and online at WKYT.com. But for now, live in McGoffin County, Samantha Valentino, WKYT. Samantha, thank you. And a sad day for students and staff in Somerset. Somerset Independent Schools confirmed yesterday longtime high school football coach Robbie Lucas died. Lucas coached the Briar Jumpers football team for the past 14 seasons. He led them to a state championship in 2019. WKYT's Phil Pendleton shows us how he's being remembered. Robbie Lucas had been coach here for many years, and his most recent and greatest accomplishment was leading Somerset High School to the state title in 2019. Also, that was one of the most dramatic finishes to a high school football game that many people probably would have said that they would have seen. But Robbie Lucas passed away Sunday after a long illness. Somerset superintendent sent out a statement saying that Lucas was an outstanding football coach, an excellent teacher, and even better person. He said that he had a positive impact on others and that that was immeasurable and will span for decades to come. He said the world lost a great football coach and a fantastic man. The Somerset School District is sending out thoughts and prayers to Robbie Lucas's wife, his two daughters, as well as his entire family and really everyone that knew him, that was friends with him and that was touched by him and his accomplishments. In Pulaski County, Phil Pendleton, WKYT. And that 2019 state championship was the first in the school's 116 year history. The students in Fayette County are mourning the loss of a student killed in a crash. 17 year old Macy Wyan died Friday night. Her car crashed in the Kentucky River. She was found Saturday morning. Friends and family members held a vigil last night at Frederick Douglass High School. It's where she attended school before transferring to Lafayette. 
Teachers at Douglas told us last night they'll be supporting students all week. Grief counselors are at Lafayette this week. Look now at the forecast. It was a cold start to the work week. And unfortunately, this is the warmest day we're going to see all week. Let's get you over to meteorologist Jim Caldwell. And it's not that impressive. But that's the thing. We're only going to go into the uh, mid to upper 40s for daytime highs today. So that's about as warm as it gets out there for us. At least the skies look good. And you find that both in Lexington and also in Moorhead. Some cloud cover is there, but uh, generally on the sunny side. Our temperature situation looks like this. We are sitting in the 30s and 40s even at this hour here at noontime at 37 in Georgetown, 39 in Danville. Then you find more 40s uh, that are out there, 41, 42, even 43 degrees in some spots. So uh, doing okay as far as the chill is concerned. It's holding on out there. We look at our breakdown for it today. It's a little warmer out there for you today. And I'm not talking a whole lot. It's more of a milder day compared to where we were over the weekend and for the rest of this week. Clouds are going to increase because we have a system approaching later on tonight. It gets in here and it could start off with a little frozen precipitation, maybe a little sleet, a little snow, certainly mixing in with some very cold rains that follow. That's all tomorrow's forecast and I'll be looking at it a little closer. Coming up in just a little bit. Jim, thank you. Lexington police are investigating the city's 40th homicide of the year. Police say they found William Edwards shot early Saturday morning on Darby Creek Road as near Manowar and Palumbo. Investigators found shell casings and a gun on scene. Edwards died at the hospital. No arrests have been made. A man recently charged in a Lexington murder is due in court today. Jonathan Lockhart is accused of shooting and killing Raymond Brooks. Brooks was found shot in September on Jennifer Road. Police announced Lockhart's murder charge Friday. He was already in jail for unrelated charges. His arraignment is set for one this afternoon. Another Lexington murder suspect will be in court this afternoon as well. Don Marshall is accused of stabbing and killing Robert Wallace Jr. Georgetown police arrested him last week. Investigators found Wallace stabbed in a home on Bryan Avenue near Castlewood Park last month. Marshall is facing murder and tampering with evidence charges. Also in court today, the man accused of leading police on a chase last week in downtown Lexington. Christian Pierce is facing a list of charges, including wanton endangerment and fleeing police. Officers tried to arrest Pierce for being in a stolen car Thursday morning. They say he managed to break free, drove off, and hit a police cruiser. Hours later, police tracked him down using security footage. Kentucky's abortion trigger law will go before the state Supreme Court tomorrow. The law banned abortions automatically when Roe v. Wade was overturned. Abortion rights groups say the law violates the Constitution. Anti-abortion groups say there is no right to abortion in Kentucky. Last week, voters rejected a proposal to add anti-abortion language to the Constitution. The city of Lexington is educating renters and landlords. They held a second tenants rights workshop this morning, and they will host another one later today. WKYT's Jim Stratman was at that first session where several showed up to learn about their rights. Well, city officials say they hope these workshops really do answer a lot of questions that people have about the rights you have as a renter or as a landlord. Danielle Sanders with the Community Resident Services Department here in Lexington says that they get calls about this stuff all the time. We're getting the calls so we know that they want to know. But instead of being in a crisis moment and having to call and find out your rights, know ahead of time what you can do in regards to your landlord. The workshop consists of two parts. First, speakers discuss a wide range of topics going all the way from code enforcement or who has the right during a dispute to the types of discrimination you might see and how to react to that. And the second part consists of a Q&A period where the people in attendance can ask those experts as well as lawyers and even judges who have handled eviction cases specific questions about what rights they have. Sanders tells me that knowing your rights is vital. Knowing your rights can help you navigate all sorts of crisis situations before they develop into full-blown crises. To me, knowledge is the key. <laughs> when you don't know, that's when, you're, that's when you're violated a lot of times. Now, the first session just ended right around noon, but there is going to be another session later on tonight out here at the Tates Creek Library Branch. That is going to start at 5 o'clock, and it's expected to run until about 7 this evening. Reporting in Lexington, Jim Stratman, WKYT. And they do hope to hold those kinds of workshops twice a year. They held one back in May. 
The YMCA of Central Kentucky is taking donations to help people who are on the streets this winter. That drive starts Wednesday. All donations are going to the Catholic Action Center. The Y is asking for sleeping bags. They can be new or gently used. They're also looking for hand warmers and new thermal underwear. Donations can be dropped off at any YMCA of Central Kentucky through December 16th. The 35th annual Big Blue Crush is now underway. That annual blood drive is a competition between UK and Tennessee fans. Last year, Big Blue Nation lost by about 400 donations. Now, fans can redeem themselves. You can donate at any Kentucky Blood Center today through Friday. Donors get t-shirts and a chance to win four tickets to UK's upcoming game against Louisville. Lexington's biggest pizza party kicked off today. 14 restaurants are participating in Pizza Week. You can grab a pie from a select list for just $6. Each restaurant has a meat and a vegetarian option. You can visit LexingtonPizzaWeek.net for more information. You can also download the Pizza Week app on your smartphone. Lizzo is coming to Lexington. The Grammy-winning artist is bringing her a special tour to Rupp Arena next year. The concert is set for Saturday, April 22nd. She will perform with special guest Lado. You can grab tickets on pre-sale this Thursday at 10 with the promo code SPECIAL. Tickets then go on sale to the general public Friday. It's going to be a hot ticket. And a manhunt is over in Virginia. Head on WKYT News at Noon. Details on the shooting that left three people dead at the University of Virginia campus. WKYT is so proud to partner with St. Jude in its mission of ending childhood cancer. Thank you for helping make this year's Dream Home giveaway the most successful yet. We ask for your support to help us make a difference, and together we raise $650,000 with tickets selling out in record time. Your donation will have a real impact on these children's lives. We're building community together. And from all of us here at WKYT, thank you for standing with us. This weekend only at Ashley Home Store's Black Friday Early Access Sale. Buy one, get one half off. Buy this sofa, get the love seat half off. Friday through Monday only. Don't miss it. Only at Ashley Home Store. Bring your money to UK Federal Credit Union and take advantage of this limited time offer on certificate rates before it's gone. Offering guaranteed returns on your money, this is an opportunity you don't want to miss. Visit any of our six branch locations today to learn more. UK Federal Credit Union. It's banking only better. All Kentucky driver licensing is moving from circuit clerk offices in every county to regional offices. And the new regional offices offer more licensing choices than ever before. Get a driver's license valid for four years or eight years. Get a real ID or a standard license. Renew online or in person. You can even visit any regional office you'd like. It's next level licensing. Learn more at drive.ky.gov. The Ageless Center has 40 years of results. Stephanie lost over 130 pounds, 170 inches, and is no longer pre-diabetic or hypertensive. Call the Ageless Center at 859-335-1330 today. What are you doing? Our sewer's backing up, and a plumber told me my basketball court has to go. You don't have to do that. At Fast Flow Plumbing, we can replace your entire sewer without digging. We remove the rust and roots from your existing pipes, then hydroclean them. Next, we line your existing pipes with Permaliner technology. This creates a brand new pipe using your original sewer footprint. Thanks, Don. Call a pro at Fast Flow. Don't miss Black Friday at Ashley Home Store. Finance your purchase and get holiday cash to use now. Get 0% interest for five years with no money down. Plus, holiday cash equal to your first three months payments. Ashley Home Store. Welcome back to WKYT News at Noon. The manhunt in Charlottesville, Virginia has ended. Police say a gunman killed three football players on the University of Virginia campus last night. They caught him in just the last hour. Deborah Alfaron has the latest from Charlottesville. The manhunt in Charlottesville, Virginia is over. Police say they have captured shooting suspect Christopher Darnell Jones Jr. We just received information the suspect is in custody. He's accused of killing three people and wounding two others last night at the University of Virginia. Upon arrival at the scene, University police encountered several victims of gunshot wounds. The shootings occurred on a bus full of students returning from a field trip. 
University officials say Jones is a student who played on the football team in 2018, his freshman year. Three of the victims did not survive. They were Devin Chandler, a second year from Virginia Beach, Virginia, Lavelle Davis, a third year student from Richville, South Carolina, and Deshaun Perry, a fourth year student from Miami, Florida. All three were members of the football team. In an email to the campus community, the school's president said, quote, I am holding the victims, their families, and all members of the University of Virginia community in my heart today. Other schools in the area are also closed for the day. Deborah Alfaron, CBS News, Charlottesville, Virginia. That was some sad news out of Hollywood. John Aniston, the Emmy-winning star of the daytime soap opera Days of Our Lives and father of Jennifer Aniston, has died. The actor's daughter posted a tribute to him this morning on Instagram, saying he died Friday, Veterans Day. Aniston served in the U.S. Navy. He was best known for his role as Victor Caracas in Days of Our Lives. His credits also included Search for Tomorrow, The West Wing, and Gilmore Girls. He was 89. Temperatures are in the 30s and 40s for us right now. We'll keep the 40s around for a little while longer, it looks like. But then we have some active weather coming up late tonight and tomorrow. I'll break all of it down. Coming up for you. Get WKYT news and weather updates on 98.1 The Bull. Right now at rallies, buy one big Buford, get a second one for just a dollar. It's like a movie with a sequel as good as the original. Except in this movie, the hero is made of perfectly seasoned 100% beef. And stacked with melty American cheese and the perfect toppings, all for just another dollar. Spoiler alert, the sequel is equally delicious and just a buck more. Buy one, get one for a dollar Big Buford's. You've earned it. Get rallies delivered through our rewards app. If your shower or bath looks like this, it's time for an upgrade. Hey everybody, Joe here with BJ Worsen, owner of West Shore Home, to talk about how West Shore is evolving the customer experience to provide seamless remodeling projects to homeowners all across America. BJ. Joe, we know a lot of people are looking to knock out some remodeling projects before the holidays get here, but the business of those holidays can really slow down those plans. So I want to let everybody know they can get those projects done right now, and it won't be a big disruption to their life. Well, BJ, how are you doing that? So everything we do is designed to be fast, easy, and convenient for our customers. And it all starts with that initial call. Pick up the phone and call the number on the screen right now. It'll be answered by a live representative. They'll be able to answer all your questions about the shower bath project, but more importantly, find a time to have one of our design consultants come out to the home for that free in-home consultation. We even do evening and Saturday appointments to make it most convenient for the homeowner. And that design consultation, that's where the homeowner chooses the styles and options to create a bath space that they're really gonna love. Right, we'll bring out one of these and let them design the bath of their dreams. If they want to move forward, we have multiple financing options designed to fit any family's budget. And the best part is we have instant credit decision. So no waiting. They'll know on the spot whether they're approved. Okay. How about financing offers? Do you have something special for us today? We have something really special right now that we're doing just for the holiday season. It's going to be 18 months with no payments and no interest. That means you don't have to make a payment on this project until after next holiday season. And for a limited time, we're going to do free installation on all shower and bath projects. Again, no worries about making a single payment until 18 months after the project is installed. That's incredible. BJ, thanks so much, folks. Shower and bath remodeling has never been easier. Call West Shore Home now and take advantage of this great offer. Call in now to get 18 months of no payments and no interest financing. Plus, you heard BJ, for a limited time, West Shore Home is doing free installation on all shower and bath projects. This is an offer you do not want to miss. Call West Shore Home now. Watch WKYT News at 10 on the CW Lexington. It is uh, sunny out there at least. It's still pretty chilly uh, across Kentucky with uh, temperatures sitting in the 30s and 40s. We'll see a good mix of uh, sun and clouds all day. The, the cloud cover is really going to thicken up, I think, later on uh, this evening and tonight. That's when you'll run into even more. Right now, I look at the numbers and find some uh, 40s out there like Frankfurt, Mount Sterling, Richmond, Lexington, Moorhead, all in the 40s. Still holding on to some 30s, though, in Harlan. Up, oh, just changed right as I pointed at them there. They're up to 41 degrees now. 
now 30s there in Danville. Can we go two in a row? I'm touching it. Nope, oh, it stayed 39. So there you have uh, 39 in one location. We expand our view a little bit to watch what's about to happen here in uh, Kentucky. Already seeing some showers and snow as well on the northern side of this wave of energy that's going to be on the move. It's going to be heading right toward us and spreading that moisture into Kentucky as uh, the day plays out for you tomorrow especially. So this takes us up to 5 o'clock. You're looking at later today showers and snow on the northern side of this. Now watch what happens when it arrives. Initially, you break out into a little rain-snow mixture, and that's what you're finding there early in the morning hours on Tuesday. So that's what we start off with. That will make a transition over to plain old rain as the day plays out. It's a cold rain, but it's uh, a rain, not the, the snow. So you get initially maybe some sleet, some snow, rain mixing in all of that together, all those different uh, types of precipitation. On the back side of this, we'll keep some snow showers around, it looks like, uh, at times on Wednesday. You can see them passing through our skies. And again, on Thursday, I think there's a shot at some flakes at least remaining in our skies here across Kentucky. So that's what we end up with out there for Wednesday and Thursday, the lingering chance of some flakes flying here in the Commonwealth. Look at the snowfall trend, and you'll find that the accumulation is going to show up north of our area. That's the best shot of it because that's where that swath of snow hangs out. It paints a little bit across Kentucky with that initial batch of uh, snowy precipitation, then a little bit more as we get into Wednesday. Maybe on a car, maybe on a, an elevated cold surface, something like that. You could see that, but I don't think we're getting a widespread uh, bunch on the ground or anything out there out of this go-around. What we will have is the cold air digging in in a big way toward the end of the week here. In the middle of the week and the end of the week, we're cold for days. We're already cold. That's the thing. We're locked in with it. But I think our highs are going to hover in the 30s, and then we'll get lows that will hit the teens. We're going to drop all the way down to that next level of cold for overnight uh, temperatures here. A little later on this week going into the weekend. We can check that all out here with our seven-day forecast, and uh, you see the numbers coming down. Got that wintry mix set for tomorrow, plus mainly rain, but the, the most important thing is the fact that you're dealing with that wintry mix. And then those numbers are down tomorrow, 43 degrees. 39 by Thursday, maybe just 36 on Thursday for a high. That's not your low. Your low is somewhere in the 20s, and you see those teens, uh, at least the possibility of it, a couple of nights, guys. Man. I thought you discovered a superpower there. Maybe you were able to just touch them and make them <laughs> make go them higher. Change. I was like, just keep going, Jim. Right, let's see what we can do Raise here. it all up. <laughs> not going to happen, though. Thanks, Jim. We'll keep it right here on WKYT News. Democrats hold control of the Senate, but the House is still up for grabs. Coming up, a look at the key races that could determine the balance of power in Congress. As we go to break, here's a look at your lottery numbers. Today's Powerball jackpot, $59 million. Tomorrow's Mega Millions jackpot, $207 million. And let's check stocks today. The Dow is up more than 70 points. It's a fact. Two out of three Americans who qualify for Medicare do not receive all the benefits they deserve. You could be missing out. Now, Anthem Blue Cross and Blue Shield introduces a free Medicare plan checkup to make sure you receive all the benefits you qualify for in 2023. Call 1-800-878-5180 today and receive extra benefits for a $0 monthly premium. Benefits like dental, vision, hearing, and prescription drugs. And to help you stay healthy at home, you can have free prescription drug delivery, online doctor visits 24-7, and free exercise classes. You can even receive money towards over-the-counter health items. Call 1-800-878-5180 today and feel confident you have all the benefits you deserve for 2023. You can receive extra benefits for a $0 monthly premium, like dental, vision, hearing, and prescription drugs. Call 1-800-878-5180 and make sure you're not missing out. When our Social Security disability clients come to our office, they tell us the government said, I don't believe you. You're not disabled. When it's you against the government, you want an experienced attorney. One who believes in your case, who believes in you. Most people who apply for benefits are initially denied. To fight back, you need Kentucky courage. Call 1-800-55-WILDCAT. Morgan, Collins, Yeast, and Salyer. There's no fee unless you win benefits. Sometimes a cough isn't just a cough, so it's better to be prepared. Keeping Binax now handy makes it easy to test. And self-test kits may be reimbursable with no copay through your health plan. 
With Binax Now, you'll have reliable results in 15 minutes with the self-test that features the same technology doctors use and detects multiple variants, including Omicron BA5. So you can always be prepared with Binax Now, the number one COVID-19 self-test in the U.S. No nonsense for small business means everything you need, nothing you don't. You need speed. Spectrum delivers the fastest internet speeds in the nation. You need to stay connected. They give you Spectrum Business Connect with Ring Central, so you have all your business communications in one single app. You need outstanding value. Get internet at 300 megabits per second for only $49.99 a month. And Spectrum Business Connect for $19.99 a month. Plus, add Spectrum Mobile for just $29.99 a month. That's everything you need. Now, what don't you need? Nonsense. No contracts, no surprise fees, no added taxes. Get 300 meg internet for only $49.99 and Spectrum Business Connect for $19.99. And they throw in the no nonsense for free. Call 866-909-7444 and switch to Spectrum Business today. The Kentucky Lottery, over $4.4 billion in grants and scholarships. Well, the balance of power in Congress is still up for grabs. Some of the most contested House races have yet to be determined. And for those who have won, it's time to get to work. Nicole D'Antonio reports from Capitol Hill. Welcome to Congress. Newly elected members of Congress arrived on Capitol Hill to begin their orientation. Very exciting. Yeah, yeah. Taking, uh, taking a piece of history right now. It will be a busy week for the new representatives as they learn the ropes, even though they're still waiting to find out which party will be in control. Constituent services are going to be important no matter who's in control. So I've got to get amazing people in our office that can help out. The first vote for new House Republicans will be tomorrow when they decide who will be their party's leader. Current minority leader Kevin McCarthy is favored, but he's facing some opposition. The question of which party controls the Senate was decided over the weekend when Nevada Democrat Catherine Cortez Cortez Masto was projected to hold on to her seat, giving Democrats at least 50 votes. There's still one Senate seat left to be determined with Democrat Raphael Warnock and Republican challenger Herschel Walker heading to a runoff on December 6. South Carolina's Lindsey Graham is the latest GOP senator calling for leadership elections to be delayed until after this Georgia vote. But not everyone agrees. Well, I don't see why we would delay the election since all five or six of our leadership elections are uncontested. Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer says he plans to speak with Senate Minority Leader Mitch McConnell soon about how to work together on issues such as avoiding a government shutdown. Nicole D'Antonio, CBS News, Capitol Hill. And Senate Democrats will vote on their leadership December 1st. House Democrats will vote the day before, with Speaker Nancy Pelosi saying she's not yet sure if she'll run to be the leader of her party again. We'll keep it right here on WKYT News at Noon. The final check of your forecast is next. You've had your eye on it. The obsession-worthy sofa. We're designer looks furniture. And we're obsessed with sofas that look like this at a price as comfy as this. Available at Value City Furniture. Ever clean, clog-free gutters. This is the most important investment you've ever made. And Everclean clog-free gutters are the best way to keep it safe. We are really proud to offer the Everclean gutter system because we know that it protects people's homes. And that's the truth. Strong, proven, permanent. Because the Everclean gutter system is a lifetime solution. It never fails. Call for your free estimate today. Everclean clog-free gutters. Call 259-1133. Sanja loves to bake cupcakes or cookies, but her feet, they were throbbing. Then one day, I found a solution. Arch Supports from the Good Feet Store. Try them for yourself with a free Arch Support fitting and test walk at the Good Feet Store. Do you struggle with occasional nerve aches in your hands or feet? Try Nervive Nerve Relief from the world's number one selling nerve care company. Nervive contains alpha lipoic acid to relieve occasional nerve aches, weakness, and discomfort. Try Nervive Nerve Relief. Skin your face will envy. With Olay Hyaluronic Body Lotion, 95% of women had visibly smoother skin. Be fearless with Olay Hyaluronic Body Lotion and Body Wash. 
Did you know investing in solar power for your home can get you an immediate 30% return on your investment with the federal tax credit? You can increase your property value and eliminate your electric bill, giving you dividends for years to come. Call Synergy Home today, 859-203-4843. Speed up your drive with First Alert Traffic. Mornings on WKYT, brought to you by Morgan & Morgan, America's largest injury law firm. Because baby back ribs make everything better. You can add a half rack to Annie Sonny's entree for just seven bucks. Or go full rack with our baby back rib plate for $18.99. Sonny's Barbecue. Local fit masters since 68. It's everything you want in a sofa and so much more. We're Designer Looks Furniture, and we're obsessed with reclining sofas that look like this at a price as comfy as this. Available at Value City Furniture. Closed captioning on WKYT is brought to you by Cumberland Valley National Bank. Bank better. Oh, Jim, I just hate to think that this is the warmest we're getting all week. It is. It's ridiculous to think that because we're only going into the mid and maybe some upper 40s out there for folks. But after that, the uh, colder air sinks in here for a few days. We'll track daytime highs probably in the 30s, starting with Wednesday's forecast tomorrow. It may as well be because we're dealing with rain, a little wintry mix in the beginning, but a cold rain throughout the day. After that wraps up, we get some lingering snow showers around on Wednesday. On Thursday, a few flakes will be flying out there again. And that cold holds steady there for the end of the week and going into the weekend. You have that night there, Friday night, going into Saturday morning that has the potential to drop all the way off to about 18 degrees. And there has been some data that suggests that it goes even uh, colder just, than just that. Stop, just stop. <laughs> okay. Okay. Right, okay. I'm Leave it at 18. Else. Ignorance is bliss right now. The, the wintry mix on Tuesday, is that going to impact any drive times? I don't think so because it'll be quickly making a transition over to that cold rain. So initially it starts off early in the morning, goes from a little maybe snow and some sleet over to mainly rain. So as it stands as of this moment, I don't foresee any major problems. It's just the fact that it's, you know, in the mix there. A little bit on your cars, but nothing to really worry about. Right. That that would be it. Yeah. All right. That is good to know. Thanks for joining us this afternoon. We will see you back here tomorrow at 4.30 a.m. on WKYT Mornings. Have a great day.